Hi, welcome back to Harris BI. This video is about how to use data activators to enable the alerts and notifications for Microsoft Capacity uh, Metrics app. This Microsoft Fabric Capacity Metrics app uh, is developed by Microsoft. All the data sources which are used for this uh, uh, the report all are managed and maintained by Microsoft. So this will be useful for Power BI administrators who are already managing and maintaining their capacities using this app. So this app will help us to understand how our capacities are performing in terms of compute and storage with additional details uh, to understand uh, how their capacities are performing on a day-to-day -day basis. And also this will be useful for them to take a decision uh, whether they have to upgrade the capacity or uh, scale out the capacity. All sort of decisions can be made with the help of this uh, Microsoft Fabric Capacity Metrics app. Using the data activator, we can enable the notifications and alerts uh, for all of these visuals which are there in this uh, capacity. Whenever there is a high utilization, either maybe uh, interactive utilization or background utilization, if they want to be notified, they can use data activators for these visuals, for these data points. And whenever there is a, a reach uh, or whenever it reaches the threshold that you set, you will be notified. Data activator is a no code experience for uh, Microsoft Fabric. And this will enable us to build a alerting system notification system based on the data points or the data patterns which are uh, coming through the power bi reports under this data activator we will be creating a item called reflex the reflex has uh, multiple core concepts the concepts are like events objects triggers and properties so you can go through this uh, page to understand uh, what is data activator and how this will be useful for uh, setting up an alert whenever there is a uh, there is a uh, data patterns or a conditions are made based on the data points that you have on the report okay let me quickly show you uh, how you can use the data activator so as i mentioned data activator is a new workload or a new experience as part of uh, microsoft fabric you can go to the uh, the experience and you can choose the data activator and here you will see the uh, option to create a new reflex which is a co main component under data activator or you can go with a sample uh, so this sample will give you an understanding uh, how this uh, reflex is uh, created and what are the different core concepts within uh, this reflex if you want to create from the scratch you can click uh, reflex here you will have different options one is get getting started this will hel help you to understand uh, what is data activator you have a link to the videos and some of the articles and you can see uh, use sample data is also there inside and you can see get your data or get data when you click get data you can see a simulator is there with a with a sample uh, data and you have a option called power bi so when you choose power bi you cannot create a data activator using this window so what you have to do you have to go to your power bi report that power bi report uh, you have to go to the uh, each visual and click this uh, more options there you will have an option to create data activator or reflexes let's go and see uh, how to create a new data alerts uh, the primary prerequisite for the data activator is the workspace should have a premium capacity or a Microsoft Fabric capacity. If you have a workspace with a premium capacity uh, or if you have a workspace with a Fabric capacity, you can go and create a data activator. Okay, I have a simple report like this. Uh, so if you want to enable the reflex or a data activator, you can go to the visual and you can see these uh, more options. Under more options, you can see an option called set alert. So now this set alert is uh, integrated with the data activator you can click set alert and this will enable this window on this window you have to define the reflex right so this is for uh, maybe for each color so our data points are with respect to colors and then uh, sales amount when to alert measure so this will list out all the measures which are used on this visual in this visual we have only one measure called sales amount so we can choose that and alert when value is uh, any of this right you can choose any of this whether it is becomes greater than or greater than or equal to so this is a condition that you are you can define it here and then this is a threshold whenever you get a new data uh, from the underlying databases or the data sources if the data points are reached above this then you will be notified through this data activator so this is the place where you have to define the threshold and you can see so applied filters uh, which are applied uh, on the report level if there are uh, any filters applied through slicers all will be listed out here so this is the place where you have to define the workspace with a fabric capacity or power bi premium capacity so let's say you want to uh, create a data activator or reflex for the reports which are hosted in a pro workspace you can still go to these options 
but uh, when you try to choose that workspace which is not a premium capacity or fabric capacity it will say that it, you need a premium capacity or a fabric capacity you can create data activators or, or reflexes uh, to any workspaces it is not necessary that you have to create a reflex on the same workspace where you have uh, these reports are placed you can choose any workspaces and then uh, here you have to choose the item so this is this is a place where we are going to create an item so click uh, uh, click create and you can define the uh, name of that reflex so the basically the item name and click create alert okay now you can see your alert is running so you can go and check the alert basically the reflex so under reflex uh, we were uh, discussing about those uh, four concepts right objects events triggers and properties so all are defined here for your data points so the the events are nothing but the data points that we uh, configure the reflex or the data activators so here we have different color wise uh, cells right uh, you can see this information by different colors and you can see the trigger this is a trigger which got created automatically based on the condition we specified in the previous screen on the report on top of this uh, event uh, the streaming data right here you can see uh, different data points uh, this is a value for the black and and when you have more data points more data more uh, uh, when you have more uh, uh, days of data you can choose this option to see how much data that you want to see on this visual right so and uh, this is the condition that we have set on the previous screen and this this is something that you can still uh, update it here and this is a uh, action that we defined uh, it is going to be a by default send email and you have still option to enable uh, teams uh, teams notification or you still have a custom action using custom action you can uh, uh, trigger any power automate flows right so this is how you have to create the data activator or reflex for any uh, uh, data that you want to monitor okay let's go to the uh, microsoft fabric uh, capacity metrics app you can still do the same thing on that report uh, let me go to that report this is the one so i have configured my data source here uh, the the capacity details so i can go to this report and uh, here i can choose my capacity let me go into the full screen mode and this is a usage pattern so with respect to uh, cu compute units and then uh, so this is a cu uh, percentage over time and here we have interactive percentage and background percentage so let's say if you want to notify whenever that cu is uh, greater than some uh, threshold value you can go to this three dot and you can see this set alert and uh, here you can choose whether you want to uh, notify it as, a, as an email or a teams so here you have to specify for each because here we have a dimension with uh, different uh, values uh, uh, values like uh, data flows data sets uh, synapse notebooks and varos so here we have to choose that item kind and then uh, metric value is something that uh, measure which is used on this uh, uh, visual you can choose that and you can uh, define the condition here and you can define the threshold and when you click show applied filter here so here we have uh, 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 filter this cu uh, basically the compute units and then the, we have filter one specific capacity and then uh, this item kind is also of somewhere uh, applied as a filter on this report so that is automatically uh, uh, taken here and if you see here the workspace that we created for uh, hosting this fabric capacity metric app is a pro workspace so that's the reason it says to continue please select a workspace with the fabric capacity license so what we can do either we can choose any other workspace where we have a, a fabric capacity or a premium capacity or we can go and uh, enable this workspace as a fabric capacity so i'm going to do that i can go here and then workspace settings premium and i'm going to choose this fabric trial capacity click apply once i'm done i can go to the report and i can go to full screen here now i can create a new alert i go into this report this visual set alert and this is for uh, each item kind and this is a threshold and now you can see i don't get uh, that uh, warning i'm going to create a new uh, reflex and i can name this as uh, uh, same as my workspace and then create alert okay now you can see uh, that uh, reflex got created you can go to the uh, view alert
fabric capacity matrix is a reflex name you can see this is uh, this reflex is created under this workspace and here you can see item kind is our object so we have selected item kind under that uh, the trigger is automatically created and uh, properties empty which we can define if we want to add any new properties and then this is a event that is getting the data from that uh, the that particular visual and if i go to uh, trigger you can see how the data are uh, uh, flowing to this uh, data activator or reflex from our power bi report so basically this is doing an event stream from that data uh, that we have selected and here we have the condition that we defined so we still have option to change the conditions here and whenever the condition met right whenever uh, the value reaches this uh, we will be notified to this uh, email id so we still can add uh, multiple other people here and you can define the subject headline and uh, optional messages i can click this uh, send me an uh, test alert so if i click i can get this uh, message something like this so here you can see uh, the item kind warehouse uh, for the this trigger point uh, so this is a trigger uh, when that data activator triggered the alerts and you can see the details like so this is an email notification you can see the reflex trigger metric becomes greater than this so what is the item kind it is a warehouse and we can go and check it here so for the warehouse so i can uncheck all of this i can keep only warehouse and you can see this is uh, yeah this is uh, greater than the value that we defined so now we have created for this visual uh, let's try to create something for uh, the interactive percentage and uh, background percentage for that again go to this three uh, more options and then uh, set alert so here uh, this for each will be automatically uh, moved and then you can see uh, select the measures interactive percentage or background percentage and these are all the measures or metrics which are used on this visual so that's where it is listing out all the uh, all the measures that you can choose any one of the measure and you can define the condition and threshold right and uh, here you have option to create a new reflex item or you can still go with the the previous reflex item there you can still add a uh, a uh, different set of uh, components or uh, events triggers for this particular visual right so for some reasons uh, uh, we are not able to create uh, the reflex for this visual i'm not sure what is the issue like if you try and if you are try to resolve this and let me know in the comments so here you can see this is a error message that i get and even i have tried with other uh, capacity uh, app as well uh, with a different uh, uh, tenant but still i got the same message uh, for this particular visual to overcome that what we can do we can uh, uh, but uh, let's say i still want to get an alert whenever there is a background percentage or threshold limit reach or interactive percentage right i can duplicate this page and i can modify this visual uh, uh, with uh, with the limited informations uh, let's say i'm just changing this to uh, Uh, table visual let me choose this and here i can just keep only the let's say only the background percentage for example i will just remove all of this i don't want all of these other metrics okay now we got this information uh, let me hide all of this and you can see here we can see uh, this is a background percentage if i want to set an alert i can go to here again uh, set alert and uh, for each for uh, each time point so here uh, we will get a uh, entry for every 30 seconds right so you can define the time point and you can choose a measure background percentage and the condition and then you can now uh, choose the same reflex or uh, create a new reflex create alert and this time this alert will be created you can see I am not sure about the the other visual why we are not able to create the reflex for that visual, but you still can customize and you can define what are the uh, measures and dimensions which you want to get an alert. You can create a new page or duplicate the page and uh, add only the re required measures and you can create multiple alerts. So you can still set an alert for your uh, size, right? The data set size, and whenever it reaches a certain limit, right? Uh, the size of the data set, you can still uh, get an alert. 
so like that you can go to each page and uh, as you have option to create an alert you can uh, set an alert for each visual each data point and whenever it reaches the threshold you will be notified so this will be really useful for power bi administrators uh, who want to enable the alerts or notifications uh, based on how their uh, capacities are performing right i hope you like this video please share your feedback in the comments thanks for watching if you are new to my channel please click the subscribe button and bell icon to get the latest updates